show you all how easy it is to make a delicious egg roll. Now, these recipes is absolutely amazing. So easy to make, doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and if you make a Tina Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Y'all never had my egg rolls. You better make it some. Here's all the ingredients you will need. First thing you're gonna need would be some egg roll wrappers. Now, make sure that you don't get the wonton wrappers. The wonton wrappers are much smaller. They come in a smaller package, but they're beside each other, so make sure you get this size. Now, all depending on what you would like to fill your egg roll with is gonna depend on your ingredients. So today for this egg roll, I'm gonna be doing a pork and shrimp egg roll. So I have ground pork. You can use ground chicken. You could use ground turkey, okay? We're gonna have some shrimp. You can do raw shrimp. I'm using cooked shrimp that's already been cooked, peeled, and deveined. You're gonna need a nice, beautiful green onion. We have coleslaw mix here, and the only ingredients is green cabbage and shredded carrots. You're gonna need some oyster sauce. You will also need soy sauce, white pepper, a really interesting ingredient, and you're gonna need Chinese five spice. We have apricot jam here, and rice wine vinegar, a little bit of cornstarch so we can make a cornstarch slurry, and vegetable oil. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a delicious egg roll, Jimmy Young style. So now one of the first things that you want to do is start preparing to make your filling. Since I'm using ground pork, we need to season it, okay? I have a little tiny bit of vegetable oil in my pan so we can begin the cooking process of the pork. Let's season it. Now I'm gonna include the salt because I feel like for the, these egg rolls, you need a little bit of salt for that pork. Okay, Chinese five spice is really gonna awaken these egg rolls and give it a real authentic taste. But don't get too wild with the Chinese five spice, okay? About that much, we'll do the trick. Okay, and then we're gonna use some white pepper, just like so in this manner. Once everything begins to get nice, beautiful, and golden brown, I'm gonna tell you the perfect time that we're gonna put a little bit of soy sauce and oyster sauce in here to really brighten up the flavor. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take our close coleslaw mix, which is the green cabbage and the carrots, and I wanna just kinda like flash cook it. Not long, we're not gonna cook it long at all, okay? So what I'd like to say is for probably about seven minutes, just on a slight boil. We don't wanna make it wilt too much, but we wanna cook it just a little bit. So literally, believe it or not, the cabbage and the carrot mixture. I just let it boil just for about three minutes, took it out and I put it into a strainer in my sink so that all the water can drain out of that cabbage. And then I'm gonna go in with my hands and I'm gonna wring out that cabbage to make sure that it's not really, really wet. Because a really wet mixture will break your egg roll wrapper, okay? So we're gonna do all we can. You can even use a cheesecloth if you need to. Put your um, wet cabbage into the cheesecloth, do it like this, wring it out, and get all that extra water out, okay? So now take a look in at this beet, uh, pork that we have seasoned up very well. I wanna break it down into little teeny tiny pieces, okay? Just like so, and let's take the time to get a nice color onto it. So now, we'll just let that go for the time being. And what I wanna do, I wanna cut some green onion. Okay, I'm gonna be cutting the green parts. That's the part that I wanna use for flavor. It's gonna really awaken up the taste of your egg roll. You can use a little bit of the white if you want. I'll go ahead and use a little bit of the white just like so. Okay, so now that I have that, I wanna take the time to address the shrimp. Now, this shrimp here is already cooked. You can cook your shrimp if you want it to. The way I suggest you cook your shrimp is it's okay to mix this with this, okay? Um, how I suggest you cook your shrimp if your shrimp is raw is you're just literally gonna cook it in a little tiny bit of oil and salt it just for about two minutes, okay? And then take it out of the pan and put it onto a plate until you're ready to mix it into your mixture. So I'm gonna continue to chop up my pieces of shrimp just like so in this manner. When I come back, we'll take another peek in at our pork. Now, um, our cabbage has been sitting in the strainer 
in the sink to get rid of a lot of the water. If you take a peek at it, you can see it's not very wilted down. Like I said, we only cooked it for about three minutes, but now we need to take the time. Look, look at all that. All that, you don't want it into your egg roll. Okay, do what you can. Use the cheesecloth. Just get it nice and drained. We do not want, I'm just gonna repeat myself, we do not want a soggy egg roll that's going to tear up your egg roll wrapper. So I'm gonna do this, and when I come back, we're gonna put soy sauce and oyster sauce into our meat. So now, when I started the video, I showed you all one pound of ground pork. I didn't use all of that, okay? I probably used one third, one third of the pork. Okay, so you can see it there. Let's go ahead and put about a tablespoon of the oyster sauce. Oh my goodness. You couldn't believe the flavor that the oyster sauce is gonna do to this recipe. Now, when it comes to the soy sauce, don't use a lot. Once again, we do not want anything to be wet inside of our filling mixture. So you see, it was just a little bit of soy sauce. Let's go ahead and we want for that oyster sauce and soy sauce, to kind of caramelize onto the meat. Okay, take a look now. Oh my goodness, and it smells so good in here. Ooh, that's what you're looking for. So when I um, when I start started to drain my cabbage, I rinsed it off with cold water as well to pull it down quickly. Because another thing that you don't want to do when making egg roll is put a hot filling into your egg roll wrapper, okay? So this is nice and cool. And now we can put our chopped up shrimp and the green onion in and kind of just mix it in. Just like so, how quick, how simple. When I come back, this pork will have a nice caramelization onto it. I'm gonna take the pork, throw it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes and cool it down really quickly and then the pork goes into this mixture. Let's take our apricot preserves. Let's get some into the pan because I'm gonna show you all how easy it is to make a delicious duck sauce, Jeannie Young style. It's gonna be unforgettable. It's gonna be unforgettable, so delicious. Okay, so now that we have that in there, we wanna cool it down just a little bit. We're using less than a half a cup of cold water, okay? And that's gonna help to thin out the apricot sauce. If at any time you feel like you need a little bit more to thin it out, well then just put a little bit more. You just don't wanna use too much water, okay? You may hear the vent over top of me. Okay, so look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's what we have there. Now, we're gonna go back in with that Chinese five spice. All right, just like so, beautiful. And then I'm gonna make a cornstarch slurry using a little tiny bit of cornstarch. Put it in to my water here, and that's gonna be a thickener. It's gonna thicken up the sauce in such a manner to where we have a quick and simple duck sauce. If you wanna put a little bit of sugar, I usually do, I wanna taste it first, okay? We'll taste it if it needs just um, maybe two pinches of sugar, we're gonna put that in, but guess what? Turn the heat off, this is done. More ingredient, I almost forgot to tell you about, it's never too late. I got the sugar, two pinches of sugar, rice wine vinegar, get you some in there. Let's see, I may have to take the paper off, sorry about that. So now some of you may be saying right now, okay Gina, so the peach preserves are sweet, yes, but they have a little bit of tanginess to them. That's why I decided to put sugar in. I always do when I make this. This duck sauce right here will turn your taste buds out. Make you some. So I've taken my meat, my mixture. We put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Oh, it's nice and cool. And now we can mix it in. Mix it in with our shrimp, our green onions, and our boiled cabbage and carrots, okay? So now we're just gonna do a little mix, and then I'm gonna show you all how easy it is to fold up an egg roll and fry that baby. From here, everything happens very fast. Take a look, take a look. Gina, you didn't just make duck sauce. You bet I did. No, you didn't. You bet, you see it. You see it. When I come back, let's wrap these babies together. So now, it's very important that you do not decide to overstuff the egg roll. If you overstuff it, it's gonna be really hard to uh, wrap it. So now I want you to turn your egg roll wrapper in such a way to where the point is pointing towards you. Just like this here. You can see that? Have that point pointing towards you. 
you can use about a tablespoon and a half of the mixture. I just kind of like to go in with my fingers and measure it out. That right there, that's the perfect amount right there. Okay, it's not too much, it's not too least. So now what we want to do is we want to take this tip and bring it this way and then kind of bring in. You see how we brought that in? Bring it in, roll it over. Okay, and now right here I have a cornstarch slurry. Just a little bit of cornstarch, cold water, okay, using your fingers. Just wet this, and we're going to fold it over in such a manner. Okay, same thing here. You can't go wrong with it. And it's not hard. I'm going to do several so you can see exactly what I'm doing so you can get the just. And now everything sort of looks like an envelope, right? You get it. Absolutely you do. You understand exactly what I'm doing. Okay, and then we're going to fold. But right here, this needs to be nice and wet. You can use an egg wash. You can just use water if you want. But I, I tend to really like to use the cornstarch and what the cornstarch does to get it nice and sealed. There's our egg roll. How simple. Let's put this one to a cookie sheet, seam side down. I'm going to show you another one. Oh, I'm going to show you another one. Let's do it. Let's put the tip this way. Don't overfill it. Okay, about a tablespoon and a half is all you're going to need. If you think you got too much, you probably do. <laughs> if you're second guessing yourself at any point, you probably have too much. Okay, just like so, bring it forward. Okay, wet it just by a little bit. Let's roll it over first. And then, just like so, same thing here. <clears throat> Let's wet it, bring it on to each other, and you see how it looks like an envelope? That's what it's supposed to look like, start folding. Get this nice and wet, just like so. How quick and simple. Use any meat that you want when you're making your homemade egg rolls. So you can enjoy your recipe in such a manner. Look at this, look how simple. Seam side down is how I want you to lay it onto your sheet. I'm going to do just probably two more, and then we're going to get the fry in these babies. 350 degrees, I will be using vegetable oil. Time to fry our egg rolls. Now, uh, these can even be set into the refrigerator um, or, and or the freezer. And then when you're ready to use them, break those babies out and, and cook them, okay? So let's load them into the oil nice and gently. Okay, be very careful. You don't want any splattering, okay? Place it into the oil, and then when you get close to oil, let go of it, okay? Just like so in this manner. How quick and simple, this is a recipe. You definitely have to make it for your family and friends, all your loved ones, and then you come back, message me back and let me know what you think about this here recipe. Take a look at it, y'all. Take a look at them, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Homemade, homemade, homemade. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everybody you know, tell the whole world what Jeannie Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this beautiful meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's cut down into this baby. Y'all, I know it's hot, but I, I can't resist it. Oh, the crunchy. There it is. This is the crunchity, 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 crunch, crunch, crunch that you all love. I know you all love it. I love that crunch. And then you're going to see nice pieces of pork. Look at that piece of shrimp just sneaking through there. Oh, wait, you better make you some Gina Young style. Now, it might be too hot. I think it's a little too hot for me to try. I ain't gonna burn my mouth for you guys. Come on in. Let's try this homemade duck sauce. Just like so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh that's it. My goodness. God bless. Thank you for watching. Good night.